It's the first weekend of the State Fair. We have a crew there and we're going to bring you some live looks of all the festivities. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Haley Fixler and it does not feel like fall yet and it's not going to feel like fall for the next couple of days and that's something Melissa and I I know are very happy to hear right Melissa. Oh, that is right, Haley. We are excited for, again, lots of things going on this weekend and lots of great weather. So let's take a look at what we have going on. If we can go to our graphics here, we'll show you our Chapel Hill camera where we've got beautiful weather for us. Temperatures in the 60s, right around 64 degrees, beautiful blue skies, a little bit of cloud cover. We have had some fog out there, especially down into the sand hills. That will continue to lift and we will see really a nice start to the day before the clouds begin to increase. Temperatures for us right now 68 in Fayetteville 69 now in Raleigh 63 in Roxborough so temperatures are climbing forecast for today we will see those temperatures into the low to mid 80s early and then falling temperatures once that front moves through but it will be breezy at times today and we will see about a 50 percent chance for some scattered showers and storms showed you that Chapel Hill camera there if you're heading to the game of course they are taking on Miami kickoff temperatures upper 70s last play temperatures in the upper 60s breezy and mild and having to dodge some of that rain will keep you updated. All very exciting and hopefully some good good weather for the fair a little bit. Oh yes, overall fair forecast looking okay. pretty good. Should we get a live look at it? Uh, yes, All we right, should. All right, let's head right out to the North Carolina Fair. All of the fun just started about an hour ago and oh my goodness, I am hungry now. Ooh, look at those look turkey good. legs. I tell you, I'm a sucker for a good turkey leg. <laughs> <laughs> I love their food because everything's deep fried, everything's just like you can't, you can't get away with I eating mean, all of this every other day of the year. No, but you know, I like to say when the fair's in town, calories don't count. We're just happy. <laughs> and uh, it's just some good stuff. That makes me, gosh, it's only what, 9.01? But I know. Uh, I think we need to head there after legs. the show and get some turkey <laughs> legs. That's what I think. All right, make sure you stick around more. We're going to have live coverage of the state fair for the next 30 minutes. All right, we can see a Johnson & Johnson and Moderna booster shots very soon. If the FDA and the CDC accept the recommendation, you could get that third dose as early as next week. An independent FDA advisory committee just voted to recommend a booster dose for people 18 and older if they got the J&J shot. They're recommending those boosters at least two months after the initial shot. Now, there were still some concerns about the trial data that J&J presented, especially with the reduced effectiveness of the vaccine over time. It could be as many as close to 5 million people who are at risk of hospitalization based on the CDC study. Um, again, this is, this is still a public health uh, imperative. FDA officials say the agency may consider taking action at some point in the future to allow Johnson & Johnson recipients to receive a booster shot from the Moderna or Pfizer vaccines instead of a second J&J shot. Preliminary studies show that a much higher antibody responses comes from that combination, but more research needs to be done. And if you're planning to spend Thanksgiving with your family this year, time is running out for you to be fully vaccinated in time. If you're looking to get fully vaccinated, you only have a few more days for the timeline to work in your favor. So that means for Pfizer, the deadline to get your first shot is October 21st. For Johnson & Johnson's vaccine, the deadline is November 11th. The deadline for Moderna has already expired. The COVID-19 vaccines in the U.S. have different dosage timelines, but regardless of which one you take, a person is not considered fully vaccinated until 14 days after their final dose. And breaking news, a man is under arrest after confessing to murder. In Wilson, 52-year-old Stephen Cameron told police he stabbed LaVonda Lucas. Police say when they arrived at the intersection of Dewey Street and Sauls, they found Lucas suffering from stab wounds. The 38-year-old has been stabbed in the chest. She died later at the hospital. Cameron has been charged with one open count of murder. It's currently being processed. We're told this happened just around 1230 at night. And also breaking overnight, police are investigating a shooting that put one man in the hospital. Police say it happened in Durham off of Pilot Road. We're told the man is expected to be okay. Right now, no arrests have been made. And if you are looking for a new home like so many people are, time is running out for you to find one at the Triangle Parade of Homes. Now, the home you're about to see right now is up for sale. It could be yours. The parade starts today at noon and ends at 5 o'clock this evening. The free self-guided tour showcases housing construction along with designs and technology. And if you do decide to go, you need to make sure you bring a mask and social distance from each other. But if you can't make it today, 
The last day for the parade is tomorrow at noon. Time right now is 9 to 04. Still to come, Chris Clark is giving us a preview of the college football matchups for today's games. And guess what? Comic-Con is back. We have got everything you need to know if you're a comic book buff. And listen up, we do have a programming note for you because of CBS Sports presentation of a doubleheader SEC football game starting at noon today. CBS's Dream Team programming starts at 9.30 today with Pet Vet Dream Team. Today's episode of All In will air next Saturday, October 23rd at 9.30.